my name is Eve. You might recognise me from um, the TV show First Dates. Um, I'm 26 years old and I have had alopecia since I was two. So my top five self-care tips. Um, they're probably pretty basic ones, but I think they're quite important. Um, have a good sleep. Eat well. Um, this last year I've really taken it as like a quest of mine to make sure that I have the best of all worlds and it's really helped my mental health in such like a positive way. So my main bit of advice for anybody who is recently suffering from hair loss, uh, male or female, um, adult or younger, is to have a social media detox and remove and unfollow any pages that don't make you feel good about yourself or make you feel like you have to compare yourself because I think we spend so much time on our phones now. We need to be in an environment where, you know, we see similar people to us who are going through similar experiences. Um, and there's a lot of people who promote like body positivity and like self-love and embrace their physical differences. So follow a lot of those pages rather than like the makeup pages, clothing brands, Instagram influencers, because sometimes they just promote the non-reality of the social media world. And I just think sometimes it can make you feel worse about yourself. So definitely have a good social media detox is for me the main thing that I would say. Another piece of advice I would give to young people especially is I know how hard it is going through school um, or getting your first job um, and going into like a world where, which isn't your comfort zone. Um, there is nothing wrong with having a comfort blanket. I used to wear bandanas, wigs, um, a lot of makeup. Um, so find yourself a little comfort blanket because it does make it easier. And then as you get older and go through new experiences and realise that people's opinions don't matter, then the blanket can slowly come down. Um, and always just remember that people's opinions are a reflection of themselves and their own insecurities. So don't take it personally and don't let anybody make you feel rubbish about yourself because everybody is beautiful and everyone is different in their own ways and we can't help how we look. We just have to learn to love it and embrace it. So regarding wigs, this is the fun conversation. Um, I feel like wigs can really help your confidence grow um, crazy amounts. Um, I think what I would say to people that you love and once you're comfortable with that, maybe by a slightly lighter shade or a slightly shorter length, um, a mix and match because I find I have different personalities with uh, the hair that I wear. So when I have my bob on, I feel really sassy or like my long hair, which I can grow up and just pull. Um, I feel super glam. So it's all about mixing and matching. So regarding um, hair loss, I recently have seen that there's a model um, on ASOS who has no hair. And in a way I didn't notice. And I scrolled back up and I thought, I've never seen this girl on here before. So I feel like um, physical differences are slowly being represented a little bit more within like the fashion and the beauty community. Um, there's still a long way to go. And there's still like a lot of judgment that I receive say personally, and I know girls receive online as well. Um, so yeah, I definitely think that physical differences are slowly starting to um, be accepted a little bit more. And so they should be. <laughs> that's it, that's all I gotta say. So they should be, I can't help how I look and somebody else can't help how they look. So we should never be um, excluded or punished for that. It's about time that everybody was um, accepted fully for what they look like. So let's just say my love for CL wigs has grown dramatically in the last couple of months um, from a human hair unit that I just absolutely am obsessed with and so is everybody else to the quality of the synthetic hair. I feel like personally I've been quite behind in the wig world because I had my safety blanket and I didn't really stray until um, I was kindly offered to try a synthetic wig from ZL. It felt like real hair. I had to email them and check that it was synthetic because it was so amazing. So I feel like this is a great company for your first wig or for your first non-safety blanket unit um, 
or your first colours here, like pink, blue. Um, you can just go crazy on there and I think that's really great. Whether you want to go for the more natural look or the crazy fashion side of things, it's just got everything. <laughs>